everyone. So we're going to continue talking about naming organic compounds. If you didn't watch the video on naming alkanes, you might want to go watch that first because it'll be extremely helpful in this video. So our first compound looks like this. And so we know that we first have to find the longest chain of carbons. So it's going to be one, two, three, four. And we know from before that that is a butyl chain. But here, this time, it has a double bond. Before, we know that single bonds are ane. But now, double bonds are ene. So instead of this one be calling butane, this one is called butene. But it also has this methyl group here. And we also have to state where this double bond is. So in our previous video, we know how to name methyl bonds. So we know that this is carbon number two. So we have one, two, three, four. And the methyl's on number two. So you go two methyl. And also, the double bond is on carbon number two. So you go two, bu, and then it ends in ene, remember? So two butene. So that is what that compound is called. And we'll do another example here. Something like this. So these, if we don't know, that just looks like a house. But we know that there is a carbon here, carbon here, carbon here, carbon here, and a carbon there. So there's five carbons, right? One, two, three, four, and five. To name compounds like this, we call it cyclo, because they're in something like a circle. They're all conjoined. So because it's five carbons, we know that that is pentyl. So we can call this compound cyclo. Pen and what do they have? All single bonds, right? These are just single bonds here. So pentane. We'll do another example with the cyclo compound. So this one This one is a cyclo, and it also has branches coming off. So as stated before, we know that there's carbon here, 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 and here. So that is how many carbons? One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is a hexyl compound. But now we need to figure out where these branches are coming off. So we always want the lowest numbers. So we'll have this at 1, 3, and 5. Are, and they're all methyl groups because they all contain one carbon. So we want to write 1, 3, 5, dash. And how many methyls are there? There's three. So it's going to be tri methyl, and it's a cyclo, so cyclo, and it has six single bonded carbons, so cyclohexane. That's a long name, but it's a good compound to get practice with. There's another type of cyclo compounds, but they have a special name. They're called benzene rings. I'll draw one out here for everyone. A benzene ring looks like this, and it has double bonds on every other bond. And this example that we're going to do now has a branch coming off of it, CH2, CH2, and CH3. So we know this ring here is called a benzene ring. 
And we also know that this branch up here from our previous video, we know that that is called propane because it has three carbons and they're all single bonded. So to name this structure, because there's only one branch, we don't have to number the branch because it is assumed that it is always coming off position number one. So we can just write propyl for your branch, propyl benzene. And now we'll do another example with a benzene ring. draw another benzene ring with its double bonds and this one has a methyl branch here and a ethyl branch here. So we know again we know that this is a benzene ring we know that this is a methyl group and this is an ethyl group. We have to number these. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's your numbered carbons. And from the previous video, we know that when we're writing out the compound name, it has to be in alphabetical order. So we have three ethyl, and that's for this compound here and dash one methyl and then those are both on the benzene ring. So the name of that compound is 3-ethyl-1-methyl-benzene. We'll do one more tough one, this last one, and it is going to contain other elements other than carbon and hydrogen. So our benzene ring, we're going to have another benzene ring that looks like this. But this time it has a methyl group here, a chlorine group here, a bromine group here, and a CH3 group here. It's okay if you don't know the, the names for the chlorine and the bromine groups. This example is for experts here. So we want to number our carbons again. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Right? And once again, we know that we have to go in alphabetical order. So we're going to start off with bromine. and the, name for that is actually bromo when you're naming. So we go 3 bromo and then we go to chlorine which is called chloro so we go 2 chloro and then you have your methyls which are at 1 and 4 so you go 1 4 dimethyl, right, because there's two of them, dimethyl, and then they're all on a benzene ring, so benzene. Sorry that didn't stay in all one line, that should all be one line for the name. The benzene shouldn't be separate. So hopefully that helped you with naming your double bonds and your ring compounds.